Here's a tip for you. Every time you get done with your garden tools and stuff, wash them off. Don't just try to clean them off a little bit and leave some dirt on there because your tools aren't going to last very long that way. A clean tool is a happy tool. <laughs> yes. Look at this hammer. I use this claw hammer to do some digging. And if you don't keep it clean afterwards, it's going to start rusting. There we go. Okay. You can do that on your shovels and picks and all kinds of stuff. There's a tip for you. I was just trying to get some miles on this over by my mother's and there's a pond down there but I brought my video camera. I went actually I went back to her house. I got the video camera because I wanted to show you what I was talking about on those pipes. See here's a here's a sprinkler pipe. This is this is um, the low irrigation drip irrigation system and see this is the end of a line. See what they did? They just bent over the end and then they took like a coupling and see it just comes right off that's been sitting there for years see there looks like you know what that is i thought it was a coupling all it is is like schedule 40 uh pvc pipe and they probably heated it up and bent it a little bit you know with their pliers or something and then they took this this is that hose there's even water in it because it, we're at the end of the line and they bent it over and slipped this on there just like that that's been sitting there for a long time and there it sets just like that because nobody generally messes with that okay here's another one I just want to show you see there's another one there now this time they had to schedule uh, 40 or 80 used to be gray pipe and see they didn't bend it at all did they they just pushed it on there after they flattened that down see here's here's the end of it and then they didn't have to get those special things look at that my word what kind of landscaper leaves their pipes like that here's another one over here you see that's how you could do it too if you don't have those ends you don't have to spend two bucks for an for the ends you could just take a little piece piece of PVC pipe smash this over smash it over like that and slip that little pipe on there that's not even a coupling that's just some spare PVC pipe that you have laying around that you don't need on your project anymore and you can do it for free onward Jojo well the Sun is about to set and look what I see, it's my little beady eyes. This little wascally rabbit. Yeah, it's a little Jack Rabbit. I call him Jack. And I see some more of his friends out here too. Uh, there's one. See him? Ooh, I'm having a hard time holding it still because I don't have a tripod with me. Here's the pond by my mother's. I come out here lots just to sit. Nice and solitude, listen to the birds. Here's a, here's a little baby goose, Canadian geese. There's its mama and there's Papa over there. He's watching out for trouble. Jim, he's very astute with that. And I've been checking these guys out. Oh, a couple times a week. Usually they might have five or six babies and maybe they had more than just the one baby. But there's coyotes around here. There's also uh, weasels and hawks. Anything for little babies. You know, when this guy was really small, 
they can't run anywhere. If they're not anywhere close to water, they're toast. They're a meal for somebody. Okay, so they, they ended up with just one, but they're very fortunate with that, and they spend their days raising their little babe. Aww. Ooh, there's an egret. There's an egret way out there. See him? Right there. Oh yeah. That's one big bird. He's on the prowl. His long beak. Okay. And sometimes I'll even see Mr. Beaver out here. And I've shown a few nature videos in the past. That's not what this is about. I basically wanted to show you about those irrigation sprinkler ends and wish you a good night. Good night to you all and sweet be your sleep. May angels around you their silent watch keep. Good night, good night, good night, good night.